is your girl Nika and you're watching 15 and 15, 15 questions in 15 minutes. And here we are with KGJ. Pleasure having you. Thank you, thank you. How are you today? I'm doing fine, what about you? Doing great, I love the, the colors. Oh ah, shit, thank you, thank yeah. you. So, let's get into it. When did you start music and how did you get into it? The, the time I started music was like a hot, hot minute ago. I like I have to take you back basically um, I've been like singing since three years old my oh, dad would always tell me stories like always singing always singing he knew like I was finna be an artist one day and like he was an artist as well so that also inspired me to make music so when I hit seven years old I had my first studio session and I recorded a song with my dad and someone else and Oh wow! Shit, so yeah, it's been a hot minute. Oh my goodness! I've been really at it for a while. You were like in diapers when you started. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but tell me about your uh, dad a little bit more. How like the inspiration? Um, you know, my dad is like my role model, right? So as a kid, I saw him doing music in the studio. I saw it. I'd always get inspired, and I'm just like, I feel like I can do that too. So when I hit that first studio session, he. Like, I remember it vividly because it was a hot minute ago, but I just remember, like, I went in there, I wasn't nervous one bit. I just went in there, I did the thing, like, everyone was impressed, and from there, we just kept going. It's natural, like, breathing air. Yeah, yeah, okay. at this point, yeah. I mean, you were in diapers. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you get your name, and how did it come about? All right, so, KGJ. Yes. Um basically that's just my initials of my real name except like that just the three letters was like there was someone else with that oh, okay. so then like uh my pops had like the cool idea just why don't you spell out j and then yeah that's basically it that's great it, it works yeah it works and if you weren't doing music what would you be doing Shit, i don't even know because music music's like my whole life because not literally I, yeah it's because it, it's not only do i like like sing rap all that i like i do like producing right i like do even music videos too right on the side like i do so much stuff within like just music the whole music business that's tough to even see like what i would even be doing if it wasn't with music but so but in in that actual part You'd still be in the music industry and business, but what component of it would you be in if you weren't? If I wasn't, okay. Yeah. May, I, maybe I'd just be like more on the producing, yeah. like making beats for people. Maybe I'd, you know, like focus more on like music videos and try to like become like a big director. But like, as far as like, it'd still all be in within the music business. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You just wouldn't be like front and center kind of thing. Yeah, I would just maybe be like some behind, behind the, scenes the scenes stuff. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> And what's it like being an artist in Ottawa? Oh, like it's it has its ups and downs, right? You know, <laughs> we're notorious for being like the city of hate. It's also, you know, it's a, it's a tough come up too. Yeah. But it's a challenge, right? And if you're willing oh. to take the challenge, Free you can, yeah, you can just go forward. Amazing. With in talking about things rising here, uh, there's so many genres in hip hop. What would you say your style of music is? How would you describe it? Uh, well, I mean, right now, like the music I've been dropping lately has been a lot of like melodic hip hop stuff, right? But like, I do everything, every type of music, like any genre you put, like, I just be like looking into it because like just the word music relates to me so much that I just be doing everything. But the stuff I've been releasing lately has been more focused on melodic hip hop, getting nice melodies within, also expressing myself and certain feelings of what I'm going through in life right. within the music. So I, I could even just call it passionate melodic music, you know? It's it's an outlet for you. It's just yep. ex, it's an expression of who you are. Yeah, it, it even could be a, like a therapy almost, yeah. like sometimes, you know? I, I really find it is. I mean, us listening to it on the other side, we get so much therapy from you having or another artist going through that. So, mm -hmm. so you know, thanks. Yeah, exactly. Like the, the music be therapy to me, yeah. but then some people listening to it, yeah. it could be therapeutic therapy for, for them, them as well, yes. which is, it's perfect. That's, yes. that, so that's beautiful. 
And so would you say, like, how far has auto music come? Would you say it's come a long way? I say, yeah, it's it's, it's come real far, like... And compared to Toronto, you know? As well. uh, like, I, I, I wouldn't say we're at, like, the 100% Toronto level, but we are mad close, like, because Toronto, I'd say the community there and the support there and everybody in Toronto, like a lot of the artists I see and community, they like come together a lot. Yes. I feel like in OT, yeah, I feel like in OT, we're missing the coming together. And that's why this All Cap album is perfect because it's, it's a step towards the future right. of the music in Ottawa. And that's what's so amazing about it, you know? If you had to work with an artist in the industry right now, who would it be? Shit, if we're talking like right, right now. Right this hot minute. Uh, I, I definitely get like Drizzy, you know? He's literally, I, I consider Drizzy like a cheat code to the whole freaking rap game. And I know me and him would make some like real fire shit. And I'm sure like he'd like my shit too. So yeah, like it would, it's not only the fact that he is a cheat code, but also I fuck with his music. I fuck with his come up, everything I see, like he were like, he's like number one, like rapper in like the world. Yeah. And that's straight from Canada. So yeah. that's mad inspiring. And it would, it would be straight honor too, you know, to work with him like right now. It's true. He's so versatile. Yeah. So do you feel Ottawa's supporting uh, enough or would you wish or like to have more support from Ottawa as an artist? Uh, like, like I said earlier, like, you know, sometimes Ottawa could be, you know, notorious for being city of hate. If I'm being 100% honest with my career specifically, I'd say I get more support outside of Ottawa, but don't get it twisted. Like, I'm gonna claim this city, like, to the death of me. Like, I love this city, no matter whatever the city treats me, like, I must still rep the city till the end. And yeah, and I know eventually when like they start seeing like what I'm pushing out there, they'll start finally seeing like what I'm about and then the support will just come, you know? They could out love us now or they can bandwagon later. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the fun part of the uh, interview here. We're having two part questions. All right. All right. What's your preference in fashion? Fat, flashy, or classic? Shit, yeah, I don't even know. I'm not even that that big on fashion to be honest. But I I can't lie. I, I like a I like a good classy look, you know. And a flashy look is nice too. But I mean, as far as me, I think I think it depends on like where I'm going, you know. If I'm like doing like a crazy show. I'd want to. I'd want to stand out, mm -hmm. you know. Especially if it's an opening too. Yeah. You want to stand out, so I might get some real flashy shit. But when it's when I go to like L.A. on some award show shit, you know, you gotta dress nice and classy to really like, you know, you gotta dress to impress. But I guess like my main style. Yeah, what's your main style? What's like? I think I think it's like kind of in between in a way, you know. Like it's not too flashy, but it's not too classy. I feel like it's just like the middle ground, in my perfect. opinion. You know, middle ground's always good. Yeah. And for women, booty or titties, man. <laughs> oh, uh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, I, I say, I say, I'm a booty man. You know, it's, it's always, it's always a nice plus. You know, that's all I can say. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna speak too much on that. <laughs> um, hot bars are melodic hip hop and. Explain your choice. Uh, I'd say right now, melodic hip hop. I've been listening to like a shit ton of melodic hip hop because um, it. I like hearing like who? Um, shit, I, I can't name any off the top of my head. It's like I just because I listen to everything, right? So, uh, but I what I'd say though is I really like when people kind of do a rap flow, but with melody. So you still got like the the bars, the flow, all that, but like singing it. And I feel like it comes out like mad nice. Like I've been listening to a lot of um, rage, rage shit. That's like a genre that's been kind of popping lately in the yeah. underground. Yes. And like, I feel like that's that's what I'm really into right now. But I also like, depending on the day, I, I really do like love my Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, oh, like yes. sound Classic. too, you know? Classic. And brilliant minds. Yeah, for very, sure. Very, very brilliant minds. 
So how does it feel to be part of the All Capital album? It feels amazing because like this album is history. This album is dead ass making history in Ottawa. Like it's a stepping stone to the uh, the future of Ottawa. And yeah, what <laughs> it couldn't be any better being a part of literally history and in like timing. yeah in the city. So it's it's a great honor, you know. And uh, oh, for those who don't know, J. Creole, that that's actually my father because I know a lot of people don't know that yet. But yeah, he he's actually my father, and so. For him and All Cap coming together and put in this project, it's it's like you could be speechless with how amazing like it is to watch the history come together, you know. It's it's making history. Yeah. It's it, like in the world, it's making history, but in Ottawa, we're making history right now. Yep. So, talking about this history, tell us a little bit about the song on this historical project. All right. So my song on there. It's called Celebration, right? And it's basically what it's about is there's been like so much negative shit going on in the city. And in the world. yeah, even in the world too. The world, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I find the song is a positive outlook of just trying to get people together, have a barbecue together, and just enjoy life instead of focusing on all the negative shit that's been going on let's just to get let's just get together and celebrate life instead of just constantly mourning on death and and um focusing on all this negativity shit you know because what you focus on expands right yeah and you want to focus on positive things exactly so other than the project what are you working on at the moment or any future project um right now i've been really like focused on like the all cap album because like i'm also like a producer on there i forgot to mention that yes, so the my, other the other back back of the scenes yeah so yeah my main focus has just been on on the all cap album but I, I got like like hundreds of songs in the vault that will like come out eventually but yeah right now it's all cap straight all cap do you have like other songs do you have a goal in terms of um how many songs you want to release per month or uh yeah i'm 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 definitely gonna like like i took a long break for like a year so i'm definitely gonna be starting to get into way more consistent drop in you know that that's that's the plan and, and celebration sounds like a perfect time because summer's coming so yeah it's time summer, to right? celebrate time to celebrate and if you had a choice if you're given a choice to start over would you still choose your music career in ottawa oh hell yeah hell yeah i'll still i'll still choose ottawa because it, there's if you make it out of ottawa that's that's a status because like people know, especially in the city, they know how hard it is to make it out here. That's a status if you make it out of here, and, and it's a challenge. And what's what's life without a challenge, you know? That's true. So this is the part called hot flashes, where we get to have to rapidly answer questions. All right, all right. All right are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's go. All right. X, Ski Mask, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, one has to go. She, I'm sorry, it's gonna have to be J. Cole. X and X and Ski's come up was was. Yeah, I, I can't really. Yeah, I, wow. I, I, I'm okay. sorry. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Would you marry a 60 year old millionaire woman or date a 20 year old daughter of a billionaire? I mean, a 60 year old, they go, nah, nah, never mind. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's too cynical. <laughs> no, I'll go, I'll go with the 20 year old. Go with the 20 year old. <laughs> I, I kind of want to hear what the rest <laughs> no, of no, that no, was. No, 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 20 year old, 20 year old, 20 year old. 20 year old. <laughs> Sign a million dollar recording contract or stay independent but get posted for free on all the big blogs like. World Star Hip Hop, Spotify, Apple Music, Playlist, Rap Caviar, and all that. I'll definitely stay independent. That's a big W getting all those playlists like on your fingertips. Yes, we'll stay independent. Perfect. All right, this one's a doozy here. Going to jail, okay, and sharing a cell with a cartel hitman or having a serial killer as a roommate. I'm a, I'm gonna have to go with the hitman because they they get paid to kill a like, serial killer like you're gonna be looking at me weird in the middle of the night and I'll I'll be I'll be mad uncomfortable you know. Well, you've been watching 15 and 15 with KGJ. Thanks for being here. Pleasure. Would you like to give a shout out to anyone or say anything before um, we go? I say shout out my dad Jay Creole. I uh, shout out every single person on this album. You guys all killed it. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at KGJAY. Uh, honestly, just Google me. <laughs>
Yep, that works, Google. So, and don't forget to get the album. The All Cap album is dropping May 13th on all digital stores. It's called Love Us Now or Bandwagon Later. Don't forget to also follow on Insta All Cap Yao and your girl Nika on Super Nika. Take care, out.